I have never heard music as fascinating and grand as that of battle. Battle has a fascination which draws men as birds are said to be drawn by serpents. They listen, then wish to see, lingering upon the edge. They catch its spirit and finally thrill with fierce delight to find themselves within the heat and fury of its deadly circle. For your acts of treason and conspiracies resulting in the assassination of our most beloved President Abram Lincoln, in my sincerest efforts to not pervert the course of justice, I hereby sentence you all to hang by your necks until you are deemed to be physically dead. May God have mercy on your souls. Captain Henry Wirtz, for the atrocities against mankind which were suffered under your rule in Andersonville, you are hereby sentenced to a passing from this life, which I can most assure you will be much more humane than the fate suffered by those 45,000 men in your death camp. This precious specimen, Nick, named the Kid, is an object of tender regard. I heard singing and music the other night. Going to the door, I found the minstrels of this village actually serenading the young fellow in his prison. Men speak of dreaming as if it were a phenomenon of night and sleep. They should know better. All results achieved by us are self-promised, and self-promises are made in dreams awake. Dreaming is the relief of labor, the wine that sustains us in the act. Living is dreaming. Only in the grave are there no dreams.